What's, what's your reaction to what you just heard? My reaction would be after the many months that um, he's been involved with my daughter and after our rocky beginning, I think it's going to take a lot more than, uh, you know, a tearful, uh, I'm sorry. I think it's what it's going to take is the actual proof in the pudding because I, I have a lot more and I think Kat has a lot more to risk, a lot more jeopardy than just, you know, a tearful, okay, I, I messed up, I, you well, know, I need you another chance. Risk? What do you have to risk? What do I have? No, not you, Don. What do you have to risk? My grandson and my daughter. And if something violent were to happen, I mean, this could change overnight. This sorrowful, uh, I'm sorry, I want a family, I want to make it all nice, nice, this could change tomorrow. So don't, doesn't that make you, I mean, it seems to me, even though you totally disapprove of this relationship, your daughter has decided to do what she wants to do anyway, um, and that's still your daughter and still your grandson. Maybe you could have a better impact by being in his life and helping, I mean, he keeps calling you father. Maybe he does need a father Some. Do you have a father in your life? I do, I just met him, I mean, 20 and I just met I him. I took him to okay, meet him so for the first maybe time. He need, maybe he needs to have a little father around helping him out along the way. And my, I mean, I don't know, just a thought, just a thought. Throw it out there, you know, see what you think. That might be true, that might be true. Maybe he does need a good role model in his, in, in his life and things like that, but you can't start out with the impression that I got you know, in the beginning, Everybody even though mistake. every, you. you know, I, I, you know, I need, happen. I need, let's start all over again if that's what it takes. But first of all, you got to show me something. Well, I think it's a good time to ask psychotherapist Michael Sinclair to get back involved in this and, and help us out here. What are you seeing going on in this situation? Well, there's a couple of reoccurring themes. And one of the things that you pointed out, and I think that we should underscore that there are children involved in both families. That's very important. I'm not sure if either one of you recognize the impact that you're going to have on your little ones. That's something that we definitely need to keep cognizant of. Second thing is, there seems to be some problem managing some anger here. And that's something that I think needs to be checked. Now, anger management and spousal abuse is not only a male problem. It can go both ways. Both females and males seek out some counseling because it can be a communication problem. So both of you are definitely working on that. So that's a reoccurring theme that I see here, um, anger management. You may want to walk it off. You may want to find better ways of communicating your anger or expressing your anger in less destructive ways. You don't want to destroy your relationship by lashing out on one another. And that goes both ways. You want to find some ways of expressing your anger. You may want to create a journal to, to document your feelings. Now, another thing that's going on here, Queen, and I think this is very important, you are telling your father all the bad things he does, which is casting a negative image on your boyfriend. You need to keep that to yourself. <laughs> Likewise, Ed, you have the same situation. You cannot feed into your mother's feelings about Angie. You need to keep your relationship your relationship. Keep that to yourself as well. I try to do that. She just always does every time I turn around. <laughs> but you always see, every time you argue, you see you come home to mama or somewhere mm -hmm. else. Or, or at least balance it, maybe, because it seems like, it, you know, for as much, you know, it, like she said, nobody picks up the phone call and, and calls Absolutely. when you get flowers. But maybe that does need to, if you're going to talk, you know, tell the whole story, because it gives these parents who love their children yes. desperately a bad image of, of, of these uh, spouses here. One of the things that you can do is you can talk to your boyfriend. All right. All right, on that note, we'll be right back.
closed captioning and other consideration for Queen Latifah provided by... thank all my guests for sharing their stories today. We would like to offer all you guys counseling. I think you guys need to take us up on it. I think you guys need to take us up on it. And maybe if you, you know, can work through some of your issues and, and become better communicators and really start to recognize what's important and put the important things in front, which is dealing with your own emotions first and getting yourself together, um, then you can be a better partner to the person that you're with. And maybe your, your parents would see that. And, and that guy said, go to church. That helps too, believe me. And we'll see you next time. Thank you so much, Michael Sinclair, psychotherapist, for helping us out today. Thanks, audience. See you next time on Queen Latifah.